My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Uh, this morning, Friday, I never know what day it is, I'm supposed to go to this lawyer open house thing to talk law with these people, and I'm like, Aah. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> and so I talk to Petra. I, I say anything about looking for a place to live, and she flips out. I can't do it right now. I can't do it right now. I can't do things. I can't do it Like, yo, face it. Okay, so she's like, listen, stop this worrying. I'm not stupid. I know what I'm doing. And if it all comes to hell and it all falls apart, we will pick up and fucking do what we gotta do. So don't worry. And that was exactly what I needed to hear, actually. She's like, I'm not stupid, I know what I'm doing, da 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 uh, Unfortunately for me, there are times when, I, I don't know, I judge for that sound in the background, by the way, it is the generator making a cup of coffee. It's quite loud because it's like 1200 watts. It uses the whole thing for the cup of coffee, but I need that coffee, man. Um, I just, I get my you know, gauge of how well a person handles things is A, how well they do, and she's doing a great on that one. She's doing all right, you know? really. But thank God for her saintly father. My father and mother care only. They care for me, but at a distance. They care for themselves more. It hurts them too much to see this. How do you think I feel, folks? Now, a real parent, I know if I was one, I would give everything I have to my kid. You know, come stay with me in the street if you want. We'll live in the hole in the ground together. Uh, you know what I mean? Whatever. Uh, if I got it, it's yours. Um, am I like that with people? Yeah, sometimes I give away my last... And then I beat myself up over it. But, um... No, Petra has taught us to... to. Anyway... If you can't talk about a subject... If you can't even speak about it rationally and calmly, with thoughtfulness and foresight and, you know, constructive thinking, and you have to scream and yell and freak out, then perhaps that subject is not so easy for you to deal with and it needs some more working on. I have plenty of things like that and I'm so fucking stressed out and I can't hear the, the monologue that she runs to the people who are torturing us as well she should, I should be doing it too but I don't have the heart to fucking be an angry fuck all the time um, yeah maybe I do, I don't know, I don't want to be a bitter, angry, old, broken uh, I'm not gonna be old, but broken so I woke up and I looked in the mirror and I said hey you got a banana head. How'd you get that banana head, mister? I went to the new banana salon. Where they give you, uh, expose you to fucking crazy creatures. Morgellons and nanocrystalline quantum dots and all kinds of energy signatures and microwaves and radiation and fucking craziness. And, uh... I'm dying. Doctors don't even seem to know what's wrong with me. They can't find anything. It's because they're not looking. It's because I don't have any real doctors. I have poor people's doctors that take Medicaid. And what do they do? They talk to you a few minutes. They run a couple of unnecessary tests. You know, EKG, look at your sonogram, whatever. There's nothing wrong there. Not yet. But I'll pay them for it anyway. And and they say, well, we don't know what's wrong with you. Your blood work is all normal, and you have you looked at the blood with a microscope, my friend? No, well, 
can't seem to get anybody to do that. Yes, yeah, somebody said there's a live blood specialist. Anyway, I'm, I'm babbling, I'm rambling, uh, because I had to pull the cord on the generator 25 fucking times to get it started to make my coffee. So that put a little, oh, there we go, we're dying out. What's going on? Oh, the heater went off. Cool. We're not dying out. Anyway, I, I've had it outside for the past few days in the cold, and you're not really supposed to do that. So when you start it up, it, it's, you know, the cold engine doesn't like to crank, and all this black, oily, bah, came out, and it really smells like shit. Um, all right, my coffee's ready. First, we turn off the load. Then we turn off the breaker. Then we unplug the load. Then we turn off the generator. Oh, thank God for generators. So now I have a pot of coffee, and it probably only cost me two dollars and fifty cents in gasoline. No, I don't know how much gasoline it. Is. Uh, my generator. This generator. I wish I'd bought the Honda, but I didn't have the money. She says, yeah, we could have bought it. We could have bought it if you were there. You know, what do I know? I'm used to living out of garbage. I, I spent my entire life making things go out of garbage. Why? Because the watchers were busy banging me down into the ground. But I didn't know that. I thought I was just a fuck up. Yes, and for those of you who are watching who say, but you are a fuck up, and all this stuff that you're coming up with is bullshit to take away the blame and responsibility from your fucked up life. I say, fuck you. I used to actually believe that. 